hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am joseph and i help aspiring course creators succeed on udemy today i'll be sharing five things you should know about becoming an instructor on udemy are you ready let's dive in number one on my list is treat udemy as a business unfortunately so many people jump on udemy with the mindset of get rich quick which is not a good thing it is crucial to understand that you are building a business not just a money making machine creating a course on udemy is more than uploading videos and waiting for cash to start rolling in it is about crafting valuable content engaging with your students and continually improving your offerings so please if you are an aspiring course creator on udemy or you just newly jumped on udemy Treat being a course creator on Udemy as a business and your mind will be at rest to build your course portfolio. Think long term and focus on providing real value to your student and the rest will take care of itself. Number two is that you are not a robot. Your personality, your unique way of teaching and your passion for the subject matter are what make your courses stand out. Be authentic, show your enthusiasm and connect with your student on a personal level. People appreciate learning from someone they can relate to. Don't just teach, talk. I don't know how you are going to do it, but talk to your students. Find ways to include something either funny or personal with your students to let them feel you. Do you know that many of my Udemy students connected with me on LinkedIn because they love my teaching? I have received so many connections on LinkedIn yes this is because i go the extra mile which leads us to point theory going the extra mile for your students going the extra mile to satisfy your student is a game changer one way to do this is by including exercises to your course if you teach tech courses or something practical in my copywriting course i included two exercises for my students and they loved it because i got their emails respond to your student questions provide additional resources and be proactive in helping them succeed. When you show that you genuinely care about their learning journey, they will become your biggest advocates. I once had a student who bought five courses from me after buying one of my courses. Yes, the student bought one courses. Then the next day, I just saw that the student bought five courses related to the one that I created. And I was surprised. So make sure you try to go the extra mile for your student. Don't just create course because you want to either educate or entertain. Create course because you want to take your student on a journey from where they are to where they desire to be with your course. And number four, pay attention to reviews from best-selling courses in your niche. Study what top instructors are doing right from their course content to their teaching style and even their engagement strategies learn from their successes and apply those insights to your own courses it is a great way to elevate your teaching game when you see a course that is related to the course you want to create go straight to the reviews and check out one to 3.5 reviews and see how you can make your own better let me show you an example now this is an example of one star reviews if you look at what people are saying here you will get to know what to improve in your own course like this one here he said i will not recommend anyone not clear explanation from chapter 9 functions topic important topics are after chapter 9 but missing explanation correctly this one said his words are not really correct but i think he's not an english uh, spoken person but he said D so so they seem to be incomplete i messaged the instructor but he never bothered to reply so forget about the help you need in this course. Also, the Q&A is not that good. You will never get any good questions there. In short, save your money. You can see what people are saying about the course. For the beginners, IDE installation is not explained properly. I followed the method mentioned in lecture 11, but when I tried to open new project, Python projects are missing. So these are some things you should look out so you can avoid the mistakes in your own course. Here's another one. This one said the course can be found for free in his YouTube channel, so I could save money if I knew it in advance. He has a very bad accent, so every caption is wrong, and in many instances, I could not understand what he was saying. 
He also talks too fast, so when there were difficult concepts, I had to slow or pause the video. This one said, strong at that strong accent, instead of simply read through the description, I should have at least checked the introduction before purchasing it. So, people are complaining about the instructor accent, which means he, the words he, he pronounced are not really what is being written as caption. So, these are how you check out reviews in the courses that you want to create so you can avoid the mistakes that other course creators are making lastly and this might be a bit different from the usual advice include god in your also whether you are religious or not having faith and seeking guidance can provide you with strength and perseverance it is about believing in something greater than yourself and finding purpose in what you do so there you have it Remember, becoming a successful Udemy instructor is about building a sustainable business, being authentic, going the extra mile for your students, learning from the best, and finding deeper purpose in your also. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tips on becoming a top-notch course creator. See you in my next video.